At this time every quarter, we get and you get the big reveal on what the billionaires are buying. They come through these things called 13F quarterly filings, and they trickle in. And what they have revealed, because they started coming in yesterday, is that one company is being snapped up, at least the shares of it, that you may never have heard of. Investor Carl Icahn has acquired a new 19.8 million share stake in Conduent, which is a business services provider. So did David Einhorn's Greenlight Capital, while trimming its stake in Apple. Appaloosa invested more than $200 million in Bank of America in the first quarter, but we found Conduent very interesting. $71 billion in assets under management. Janie Montgomery Scott's chief investment strategist, Mark Lucchini, can tell us what he makes of that. Um, first to this, this Conduent name, uh, do you find that interesting? This is not a very well-known name, and they're selling Apple to buy Conduent. Well, hardly a name you would ask somebody on the sidewalk if they knew of, right. that's for sure, relative to the other two names you mentioned, Liz. But it is interesting. I mean, anytime you have these investment luminaries taking big stakes in companies, whether it is something as big as a Bank of America in the case of Appaloosa, or as something as unknown, at least by name brand, uh, in the other, uh, it, it warrants attention. I mean, there's worse places that you could shop for investment ideas in these gentlemen's portfolios. Well, uh I don't know if that's the right name for the retail or the mom and pop investor, but what do you suggest that they look at if they get the idea from a guy like David Einhorn or Carl Icahn? Should they decide what's appropriate for their time horizon? And if not, what name should they be buying in your opinion? Well, of course, Liz. I mean, I, I think making any assessment as to whether a company is right for any individual investor is highly bespoke relative to the issues that investors are trying to solve for, whether speculation, capital growth, or income by way of a big dividend payout. So that's what matters more than necessarily just chasing after one of these names. In our view, we have a couple of names that we think are also very attractive in sectors that we like very much and have liked for some time in a couple of cases. Uh, one certainly is healthcare, which was last year's worst performing sector. This year, it's one of the best, and it's obviously a, a secular theme of a long runway by way of aging demographics. And Johnson and Johnson, if you're going to own one stock in the healthcare space, is kind of a mutual fund of healthcare companies. Pays a 2.6% dividend, a valuation no richer than the market overall. Another is Mohawk Industries in the okay. housing industry, putting down flooring in new and existing homes, and that's an industry that's performing very well, also. Mark Lucchini, Jamie, Chief Investment Strategist. Good to see you. We'll put all your picks on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman. The NASDAQ hitting a record. The Dow down three after crossing the unchanged line 130 times. Really? David